Hey guys, Zakafazi Dream here back with a video today. So I'm going to be talking about Doomsday Clock issues one through five. I'm on these five issues and they're gonna be kinda short, but I'm just gonna be summarizing everything. Um some of them uh you know maybe all of them contain spoilers, so spoiler warning ahead. So to start off with issue number one, uh it says when people find out about the hoax the world starts to fall apart with rioting, protests, and violence. Ozymandias has become the most wanted man. Rorschach is alive, but it is revealed that he is not the original Rorschach. And um, we get to DC Comics side where we see Superman laying in bed and he experiences this nightmare of his parents dying in a car wreck. But he wakes up in tells Lewis that he's never had a nightmare before and it makes him come to senses that something bad is happening or is going to happen so you know that's kind of a cliffhanger that he's never had a nightmare before so that's really cool uh, now I really like this art here we have a Rorschach um, he's actually breaking someone out of jail or prison or whatever uh, and that is the mime we know. So, and his real name is Marcos, Marco, Marcos or Marcos or something like that. And we'll get to that later in issue number two. All right. So moving on. Here's something from issue number two. And all right, back to the summary. All right. So shows Erica and Marcos, known as the marionette and the mime, putting on their costumes to become their alter egos. Uh, Rorschach and Ozymandias explain to them why they are needed. We also get a flashback scene where Marionette and the mime attempting to rob a bank. Moving on, uh, we find out that Rorschach, Ozymandias, Marionette, and the mime go on a mission to find Dr. Manhattan by riding on the owl ship that uh, Ozymandias fixed or whatever. Uh, the, the travel leads them to a whole another universe where they find themselves in Gotham City and Rorschach split up. Oz, Ozzy and Rorschach split up to uh, to talk to Bruce and Lex. And Ozzy uh, wants to talk to the smartest man, which is Lex. So that means Rorschach goes to Bruce Wayne. And I will say overall this was a really good comic. I enjoyed it. Uh, as well as issue number one. So if you haven't got them already, make sure you get them. They're awesome comics. They have really good art. And here's an example of some art here. It, it's just amazing. Just amazing job by uh, these writers and all of them. Um, so, all right, moving on. Okay, let me change this. Okay. So... Oh, all right. Issue number three. All right. Surprising return occurs when the comedian, aka Edward Blake, who, uh, by the way, Osmodeus thought he was dead or whatever, but it turns out Doctor Manhattan brought him to life or something, uh, reappears for vengeance against Osmodeus and puts him in the hospital. Uh, when they have this fight, crazy fight scene. Uh, Lex Luthor also suffers from the comedian because uh, a failed attempt to shoot Ozzy and Ozzy dodges it and it hits Lex and uh, Lex is also in the hospital along with Ozzy and um, back to the Batman and Rorschach meet each other in the Batcave. Batman is very self-cautious around Rorschach thinking he is mentally unstable because Ozzy, I mean excuse me, Rorschach is trying to explain to Batman what is going on and it's very confusing and hard to take it for Bruce Wayne. And, uh, you know, uh, Rorschach hands Batman uh, the Kovacs original journal and Marionette and Mime explore Gotham and find themselves fighting Joker's goons while asking the question, who is the Joker and where is he? So, issue number three really interests me because of the Joker, like where is he and all that? I really wanted to find that out. So very good issue there. 
Okay. Um, and also this art is amazing. This is Rorschach and uh, Batman talking to each other. All right. Issue number four. After Batman leaves Rorschach in the asylum, we uh, Rorschach remembers a time before, uh, way before he even wore the mask. He remembers his father who tried to help rescue or help just rescue the original Rorschach. And uh, keep in mind, his father was a psychiatrist, so try to help him and all that. Uh, you know, we see Rorschach uh, in Asylum finding out that he is... Uh, oh, so we come off at Cliffhanger, uh, the psychiatrist, or the doctor or whatever, in the Asylum who is interviewing Rorschach, the original. We find out that was Batman actually interviewing him, which was a really good cliffhanger I guess and the it was Batman in disguise who was interviewing uh, Rorschach so basically issue number four was definitely a slow paced basically Rorschach origin or his flashbacks that's all what the comic was we didn't really see any of the DC side besides Batman but we didn't really see him so that was a good comic but definitely not the best of the five but it was still good so okay and this art was amazing we we got to see mothman a lot definitely in this issue all right moving on so issue five this is going to be a really short summary because so much happens but there's only so much you can like talk without spoiling the whole thing so the comedians uh no the comedian is alive the Mime and Mariette find Joker, and Rorschach is still locked up in the asylum, and secrets will be revealed later on, and as you can see here in the picture, uh, you know, they found this lantern, and there's so many secrets to be revealed about it. And here we have a quote, when men make gods, there is no God. Eugene O'Neill, that's a really good quote. Uh, Joker is in this, and right above this is where Joker is, but I'm not going to reveal him. I just don't want to get copyright. I'm trying to keep a low of what I reveal. So, anyways, I hope you guys buy these five comics. They're amazing, and maybe we can talk about it. Just leave a comment down below if you've already read all five of them. And my next video, I'll be previewing uh, Doomsday Clock number six. So look for that, speculating about the release date. I think, I'm not going to tell you guys the release date. I'll save that for my next video, but... They keep changing the release date. It's a little frustrating, but I'm pretty sure we'll get it before summer ends. So, okay. All right, that's going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I'm happy to make videos like this that I'm really interested to talk about. So, all right. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.